Zdravo, zdravo, kako se koji štaka i ovaj pat, kada je koji ne, imamo muzičko to makedonsko televizijsko show, Hard and Heavy. Se ne ogljame na mesto to zostorstva, to se ne ogljame na severo to od Balkana, se ogljame na Alpite, se ne ogljame o tom in Slovenija na Metal Days. Po kraju meni ima novi sogovornici koji za brzo ke vidi prestavam. Stanu vas zbor za momčinja koji ne doajat od Germanija. Stanu vas zbor za momčinja koji ne guvat brutalen death metal. Stanu vas zbor za momčinja da Susperia Carnivash. First, to the welcome to Macedonian TV show. Hello. My pleasure to uh, speaking with you because I know you, you're my colleague. <laughs> Just like in the press and every year I see in metal days. And, and tell me uh, how you started because I think you have uh, the three albums and one P. Uh, the first EP is 2012. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the first EP was in 2011. 11. Yeah, it was recorded at home uh, from our uh, uh, guitarist, and yeah, it was uh, four songs. A really good EP. It was the only one on this EP. So. Um, and yes, so we, we, we created this uh, EP in 2011 and the other albums came with the time. So well, I guess, uh, no, Quarter in the Doom is the first uh, album, to, uh, 2013. Then uh, Sentence by the Cross, 2015. And the last album is Mor Morbid Ways to Die in 2018. Yes. Tell me, uh, who alive the lyrics in the band? The, I think the most the son writing this uh, Aka. His name uh, for the band. Is, uh, yeah. yeah, he he most uh, uh, write all the song. Uh, the the lyrics sometimes they they working with him together with Aka. And then I'm the second guitarist. I just just. Uh, just get from what he he write. Okay, I play I play like this. Okay, we just try to uh, I mean he uh, try to put something uh, everything and you can play in this part and and then, and then uh, he play in this part. Is he he really creative uh, mus musician? Yeah. Well, taking inspiration for the lyrics. Uh, what what thematic of the lyric? The th thematic is uh, at the beginning we were thinking uh, to to make music um, about, uh, for example, what the church made in the last time with the human beings, with the torture machines, how people suffer inquisition, and, and that that um, our, our theme is uh, torture, decay, and but all real stories. Yeah, yeah. Uh, real stories, what happened in history, no, through the church, or yeah, different... The church, when yeah. they yeah. make decisions, yeah. yeah. Spanian, yeah. and is that... For example, right? yes, yes. Uh, it's and and, 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 and it, it has something with history, too. I mean, if uh, someone wants to learn something in the school, yeah. Supreme Carnage is the best. <laughs> yeah, you can take the lyrics and say, oh, the... Uh, Oh, what's the name of uh, the guillotine? Eh? Yeah, it was uh, made in France, or the last time that it was used yeah, was, yeah, yeah isn't this uh, really uh, fascinating? Yeah? I mean, in the last album, we, uh, uh, Aka wrote uh, a lot of lyrics, but not concentrated in one uh, way, so in different uh, experiences. But anyways, had something with history to tune. Uh, I'm speaking German right now. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it, it has something with uh, story, uh, history. Uh, he was just, sorry, man. <laughs> I had German in my head. Um, and, and that's, that's for me, uh, a good way to, to be interested in a band. Yeah. History. It's the best way to learn death metal, to listen death metal to. Yeah. Where take the influence for the music? Uh? I guess for many uh, old school death metal bands like Bolt Thrower or Entomb, Dismember, mm -hmm. also Bloodbath, something like this. 
Your uh, first album, the recording in the home, uh, but in the last album in the last year, uh, yeah, where are you recording? I think uh, I'm. I have to say I'm not a member of the band. I'm just replacing Akka because he's uh, waiting his firstborn. So, but I think you recorded it at, at Jörg Uken's studio, Sound Lodge in Germany. Yeah. He is, I mean, he is, uh, as, as a producer, he, he did amazing things like Got Dethroned and also, yeah, you sent it some really nice death metal stuff. Yeah. You play uh, here and uh, was the year, yeah? This is the second uh, time for the Metal Days, yeah? Yeah, last year we played in a new four stage. Yeah. And then, surprisingly, we play in a yeah, uh, main set. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Nice. And, and then, that's quite a surprise for us yeah. to get a to get chain again, play it. Uh, at Metal Day 2019, and then because here fucking amazing location, nice uh, friendly atmosphere. Yeah. Nice to be here again. Yeah. It's a big step, and you have a ocean uh, new four stage uh, first, and after in the main stage. Uh, what how you to be the feeling, and what the difference, and you being new four stage and main stage. Uh, I have to say this is the largest stage we played so far. Maybe it will be <laughs> the only stage this size we will play ever. But I think it was a great experience. Yeah. Also with the whole um, around uh, surroundings with the backstage and then catering and stuff. So yeah, we can continue like this. Yeah. Who is the next step? Uh, maybe you have the new material because the last album in the last year? Uh, yes, in, in fact, um, we are working on a new album, but I'm, it would be so early to tell you when we will make this new album. But I'm hoping next year, uh, at the end of 2020, or maybe uh, in the spring print in 2021 i'm really sure because yeah we yes but but because uh, every time when when we are making a new album we are thinking what's coming right now uh, because the other album was really good so we need to challenge us again to say oh will be the next album so far good like the last ones or not and that's a little bit uh, difficult because uh, Aka is writing the, the, the lyrics and the music, yeah. And I guess that uh, the next album will be exactly good like the old ones. I'm really sure. Uh, the new material, the B, same just like uh, old stuff, the, the B evolution, the B. I don't know, there are, I think, maybe two new song ideas around. It's typical Supreme Carnage, but maybe a, a bit different, a bit more thrash metal, maybe, or a bit more doom metal. So, always new mixing of the styles. Okay. Do you have uh, video promotion uh, clips for the last uh, album? We, we have, uh, I mean, we, we have uh, two video clips. But we just make uh, by ourselves because uh, we have a lot of friends who who can make a good uh, video promotion, and then we just make in some we call uh, in Spunik Spunikale where the place can make a good uh, video clip, and then for the the last album we just mix. I mean, we don't have really uh, only just make in the in the studio where uh, we yeah, yeah exactly yeah, like yes. studio video playing songs yeah, yeah. exactly yes. and uh, tell me this uh, summer you going to another festival uh, as a band or I don't know what the guys planned so. <laughs> That's because he's the replacement from the other guitarist. Yeah. Only for this concert and 
And um, so the next uh, gig is in Germany uh, at the Death Fist in Andernach. Um, and then we will play in, in the Netherlands, uh, uh, the front and the frontier from with, with, between Germany and, and the Netherlands. The, the name of the festival, what's its name? Schonebeck. Sch Schonebeck. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this good, but um, yeah, it's, in, 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 it's the, the second open air after uh, Metal Days. And then we are playing in. We have three con three gigs in in, in October. I mean. In October we will play in Münster, Germany, in uh, Paderborn, in Germany, and in Mainz, in Germany too. And then in November, until now, is the last concert of the year. Will be in. Yeah, but this is a lot gigs. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, it's very busy. Uh, yeah. and, and, and for the next year, we have maybe two concerts two already. Already, yeah. And in Germany, too. Yeah. May, maybe, maybe in Spain, we, because we have friends in, in Barcelona, and we could play again there because next year is our uh, 10 years from Supreme Carnage. Uh, we want to make a party. Yes, we are old, but we want to make party. So he's making party all the time. <laughs> we, we are, we, we don't drink anything. Yeah. Only water. Yeah. Um, yeah, yes. And the next year is the um, anniversary of the Supreme Conscious. We are thinking to make maybe a big concert uh, with our friends. Bands like in, in, in from Germany and in, in Spain or other countries. I guess it will be good. And maybe we will play in Spain again. Yeah. It's nice. To be very important for the band. Ten year. Maybe the B the, the DVD. Yeah. <laughs> well, for the ten years, uh, anniversary or last show performance. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, but uh, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> If maybe we can ask someone, uh, but it's a good, good idea. It, it is a good idea. Yeah. I, I, I guess I don't want to listen my voice uh, in a DVD, <laughs> but it would be a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, for the end, I would like to say for the fans who are watching this interview and who you message. Um, so first, uh, for for uh, um, for the people that they like underground music, uh, or underground death metal, uh, they should keep uh, listening to underground bands. And if you like Supreme Carnage, it's better. Yeah. yeah. So just uh, share our music, and yeah, we will visit maybe your country one day if we have a. I, I don't have a problem. I, I would like to, to play everywhere. We, we, we can play too in Asia, but we are waiting for the money. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and that's my message. So, and then I want to say hello too to Aka. Hi, Aka. Uh, we miss you. Yeah. And yeah, so that's my message for our fans in Macedonia and everywhere. Yeah. And, and visit our homepage. Um, www.supreme.eu and uh, you can see us on Facebook for merchandise and new events. Yeah.